when we moved to Hamilton, um, I think Michael was seven years old, Daniel was six, and Simon was two or three. Um, and within a couple of days of getting here, we saw uh, we saw kids playing on the field, and uh, within within a couple of weeks, met uh, Chris Nevison and the uh, the Gowan boys, um, and soon thereafter the Juvenoys, and got involved almost immediately in ASO. Hamilton just, Hamilton soccer has a tradition of excellence, uh, unlike no other neighboring school around here. Um, ever since the program started, it's been, uh, it's changed, it's evolved and, and kind of grown into what it is now through the coaching of um, Coach Duvenoy and now Coach Latella. And they really molded this program into a tradition of excellence and that can't be matched by anybody around here. I had a very good friend when I was teaching at Sherburn Earlville, and that was Rennie Corver. He got a message to call Hamilton's AD about coaching soccer, boys soccer. And he showed it to me, he says, I'm too busy. And I said, well, let me take it. And uh, I called Jim Malasgar and set up a, a meeting interview uh, about the program. And that's how I got introduced to the Hamilton job. And I, uh, sat down with him and said there's a he said there's a JV and a varsity position open and he said probably this program's going to die after one more year Coach Uvenor came in, he wanted to begin a program that would be competitive with a lot of the neighboring schools. Uh, and so he, he came in, he was, uh, ran a, a, a more organized practice than we'd seen before. Uh, had us going through drills, making sure that we had the foot skills, making sure that we were um, developing ourselves in, in different ways than we had previously. That first year here was my first year of coaching. I had never coached a team before, never coached a sport or a team. So it was new for me, and it, the school was new for me, and the kids were new for me. And then it's just uh, it's developed throughout the years, and, and, it's, and they don't move on to other things. They, they stick with soccer, and they, they have a core group of, of uh, friends they keep playing with, and, and it's pickup soccer, it's, it's soccer in the summer, it's, it's indoor, and, you know, and so they, they just keep following through with it. And it seems to be something that they, you know, they, they like to do year round. 95 is the year, um, again, that um, I think Jabor and Timmy Andrews um, we played the final, ended up uh, with a tie, the state champ tying in the state championship on, on the first of two championships, one under ridiculously snowy, awful conditions. But um, I remember being on the sideline, uh, freezing my butt off, and just grinning ear to ear, uh, watching those guys play under, under um, absurd conditions. Um, it was it was big, big times uh, for Hamilton. Uh, the whole the whole school and the whole uh, community rallied around those '95 and '97 teams. And you know, and then starting in, in the mid '90s when they they, uh, they they captured the '95 state title, and then you know, followed that up with the '97 state title, and then went to the state finals in Class C in 1998. Um, you know, so they, they created quite a, you know, quite a few years there where I mean, you definitely could talk about a dynasty of, of high school soccer. I mean, I think that there's, that there's a, a, a tradition that's been built. Uh, Russ was very careful to keep records that showed what we as a program had achieved. Um, to, to keep those records um, of the wins, of, the, of the, the, the league titles, the sectional titles, the regional, state, and, and to uh, build a belief that we had a legacy that we had to, um, to keep up. And I think that uh, Brian Latella has made that a centerpiece of his, of his program to honor the traditions and the legacy that Russ, Russ handed him uh, and to keep it going. I mean, if you look at, you see the t-shirts they wear, 
um, tradition never never graduates. Um, and I think that I think that we've built something that's um, that that's quite special. The boys believe that they're part of something, uh, and um, they're unwilling to be the to be the group that lets that something go. I feel like there's a lot more of a connection with the players that have played before you. I mean, as far back as I know, we've been handing out sweatshirts just like that one right there. I mean, I saw Sean Neverson wearing his the other day from way back in what, like mid '90s, and I mean, it's a huge tradition. Playing soccer at Hamilton, it's like um, we're like a really tight knit team. We always have been, and I just think that um, every team that Hamilton's had is just got like a real brotherhood going on. I think that I started coaching varsity a little sooner than I than I had thought I would. And, you know, I was hoping for maybe another year or two uh, underneath, you know, coaching under Russ and, and learning some some more things from him. Um, you know, but, but I got a jump start in 2003 after working with him for a year, and you know I was lucky enough to have you know a couple of returning seniors that had been through the program, you know, their, their whole careers, and they and they knew how to you know how to help me out and, and make sure that the standards stayed where they were. Um, you know, and then I had a long time uh, modified assistant coach Harry Jarko, uh, assistant coach with me. So, you know, I, I had a, I had kind of an end to the program already, and it's not like I had to try to reinvent everything that, that was going on. And, you know, in 2008, we we felt headed into the season that we were the best team uh, around. We felt that we were better than Poland's. You know, no other team was gonna was gonna compete with us in, in our division. And you know we started off the, the year with a with a eight nothing eight nothing win nine nothing win and then it continued to, to roll and just you know we, we were a talented team in, in every aspect. Heading into the regional game, I had no clue what to expect. Uh, I'd never been there before. None of us had really ever been there before. That was that was a new experience for everybody on the team. I mean, we'd never gone farther than sectional finals. We're going to Saints! Yes! It feels good. It feels real good. Yeah! You know, this game, we came all the way back and tied at 3-3. We had been in this situation before in the polling game, you know, so we don't want to let our emotions of tying the game, you know, let the other team get the game winner. So, um, you know, we're just hoping for that, that first overtime to, to keep possession and, uh, you know, not limit their opportunities. We possessed the ball. We looked for smart passes. We might have even lost the ball, but we were gaining possession. Shazy clears it right off to Joe Toronto, who one touches it to Matt Brodell. He plays a quick ball on the steward, and the steward sets up with what looks like it's going to be a one-two. And Stu played me the ball, uh, I don't know, maybe five yards outside of the 18. And, you know, the ball ends up on Cranach's foot, and nobody knows any better than him what to do with it when you're at the top of the D. You know, in a situation like that, he turned and shot, and the rest is history. We weren't last week.